Hello everyone, today in this video we will be discussing the module 5 of RPA. So in module 5 of RPA the, we have the following topics about exception handling and some logging of the errors we have and debugging techniques and finally we have the uh, some brief information regarding uh, whether it is more likely that RPA will um, become more famous and more usable in the future or uh, it will be a flop in future like that we'll be analyzing based on the current data okay so we'll have a look at these topics and very very easy uh, module there are totally seven questions and out of that five super important questions are there from the theory and nothing practical is there just one practical video is there that I've uploaded try catch block so you can watch that okay and um, except that uh, we'll be discussing what are the important questions from each of these okay basically that topics are only the important questions so before starting if you like this video hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel your support helps me make more videos like this okay so let's get started if you got any doubt ping me on instagram the first uh, topic is exceptional handling okay what is exception handling explain try catch and finally exception handling means what exception you are handling now the question is what is exception exception means if you are performing something and you are not getting something which is you are expecting if you go and give your shop uh, give a shopkeeper 10 rupees and tell him to give dairy milk chocolate if he gives you some egg then what you will say to him you are not ex expecting that right so that is what exception handling so you will uh, do uh, the same thing in the system as well you will be performing Performing some action and if you're not getting the results accordingly there is some error in that how to handle that error that is what is called exceptional handling so uh, we'll be using try catch block to handle the exception uh, means exceptional handling is um, handled using uh, try catch block in that what happens is you'll be trying something you will be performing some action if there is some error in that you'll be catching it using the catch block and you can um, customize it accordingly and you can uh, have a finally also like after the tiger block whether it is error whether there is no error finally will be executed indicating that this has over okay this is executed like that we'll be getting to know so that is what about the try catch and finally a super important question from exam point of view next is what are the common exceptions and the ways to handle them how many common exceptions are there there are six common exceptions okay so namely <coughs> unavailability of ui element so uh, what does uh, this mean is that if you have a ui element you have opened something in notepad and you have saved by some name and you have opened another notepad and saved something by another, another name okay but the element is same it is notepad only but these two will be considered differently by the system okay so that is what is called unavailability of the UI element it will be considered differently handling runtime exceptions runtime exceptions how they are handled I already told you by try catch block only they will be handled fine next is about the orbit reference not set to the instant of the object here the default value is not set that is what is called um, orbit reference index out of bound means if you have created an index of uh, 10 uh, size and you are accessing uh, uh, the 11th index like a stupid person it will be not giving you the index okay that is what is called index out of range so first uh, know what uh, declare what you have declared first then only going uh, uh, you'll be um, going ahead to access the elements fine next is image not found if uh, in the provided timeout if you have uh, selected an image if that is not found in the provided timeout you'll be getting an error so make sure the timeout is set proper and the image is also there Th those two things you have to um, clarify first okay confirm first uh, whether that is there or not next is uh, click uh, generic error in this uh, there are some notes okay see here i've written a few words this happens when the simulate click these two words you have to remember just in the exam write these two words it will be sufficient simulate click and send window message when this is checked it will uh, show the click generic error i don't know what it means but it doesn't matter if you write this you'll get marks fine so <clears throat> when you uh, encounter this type of error go to the properties uh, tab and uh, see if there are these two buttons if they are checked uh, what you have to do is uncheck it when you uncheck it this error will go okay moving on we have the next question which is explain login a client and server how do you do the client logging and server logging client like a uh, logging can be done in two ways in which we uh, the first one is uh, the logging files will be stored in the system second is uh, by using uh, the log uh, tab where we have log tab we'll be writing there itself okay and from the server if they, we have connected to the server the logging uh, the logging will be sent to the server another question can be asked is how to take a screenshot in the server logging so to take screenshot you'll be using control uh, plus print screen Moving on, we have the next uh, important topic, which is the various debugging techniques. What is debugging? It means finding out the error. Okay, that's all. Finding out the error. That is only debugging. There are various techniques for it. Setting breakpoints, slow step, highlighting, and break. What is setting breakpoint? What is breakpoint? What is point? Point is nothing but like a 
point right that is only a point break point means what at this point when it's getting executed if you have added this point and you are calling it as a break point what does that uh, is supposed to do is it should break at this point right break means what come out of the execution okay when you have set a break point it will stop at that point and come out of the execution and it will pause for a moment setting means what just putting it here okay that's all that's all about the break points and slow step means what if you are um, executing something in front to observe carefully what's happening in each step it should be slowly uh, done at that time we'll be using slow step while highlighting means what if this is the program and if you are performing some task first step is here second step is here third step is here fourth step is here if you want to see in which um, all the steps in the um, screen with they are performed you can use highlighting so that you, it will highlight this has happened here this has happened here this has happened here by that you can get to know what uh, where all the things has happened and you can uh, hopefully clarify the errors present in them last one is break break means nothing, nothing but uh, normal execution is happening if you want to break out of this statement you can break here and come out if you want to continue just have to click continue can uh, continue from here if you want the theory explanation can uh, read these points a uh, shortcut we have written there okay next important question what is collecting crash dumps what is dump dump means useless things right crash dumps uh, crash dumps means what crash dumps means when the program crashes some uh, useless things will be produced okay that is the crash dumps but that useless things is actually use uh, use useful why because by using that you can understand why the system has crashed right that you are collecting okay so there are two types of it full dumps and mini dumps full dump will give a detailed information mini dump will just say what is that uh, dump okay that's all and uh, when a crash happens a dialogue will uh, appear that's the first thing that will happen a dialogue will appear and after that dialogue something will be crashed okay that's all and uh, you can enable or disable by using the following things if you want to enable the crash dumps you can use uh, download a file give the admin rights and the dump will be found in the .dmp file in the temp folder if you want to disable it in similar way you have to download a disabled reg file click yes on the administrator uh, settings and then you will be able to disable the crash dumps okay next one we have the error reporting there are two types of users enterprise and community we already know for each of these there are two types of error reporting enterprise means it's a paid version when you pay to someone obviously they will respond nicely right that's how the world works so in the enterprise edition the ui path will uh, give you a form where you can fill the information and tell what the error you are um, getting whereas in the community edition it's not the case the ui path does not provide any support for the community uh, edition because we don't pay anything to the ui path why will they provide uh, help freely right so uh, what we have to do is the last option is there is a forum where the users uh, come together and discuss and uh, solve each other's problem. This is the link if you want you can go through it. That's all about the enterprise and community edition error reporting and finally we have the last question which is write a short note on the future scope of RPA. So these are the, some of the key points you have to remember if they ask this question you have to remember these key points and write um, two to three lines for each of these okay so I'll be discussing each of these one by one see a look into the next few years like when the internet was released okay so at that time no one thought that computer will become this massive and this useful one of the persons also made a statement that computer why will it be used in homes also someone made fun of also made uh, someone made uh, fun of those um you know iphone okay iphone will be not be getting a market share and all etc etc but it's not that easy to say uh, what will um, uh, most likely happen in the future because it's dependent upon a, a large number of factors so uh, it's not guaranteed that rpa will um means become more famous and more useful in the future but there is a slight uh, chance that it will become as well okay next one is consolidation consolidation means making something more solid so uh, consolidation means making something more solid ipos means initial public offering whether the uh, public will like it or not okay rpa whether the public will like it or not that's what uh, this uh, scope is about and it is likely to rise next one is microsoft interesting case study initially it was useless now it is very useful attended automation attendant means human will be involved now the rpa is moving towards unattended rpa without the human intervention it should perform the tasks rpa carrier and scaling it is increasing day by day vertical specific companies companies are increasing Increasing in RPA, hype factor. There is a lot of hype involved. RPA as a software as a service and open source, it is good. If the RPA uh, gets involved in the SAS and open source, chatbots uh, use. Um, there is a lot of use of chat chatbots and RPA. If they both collaborate to uh, with each other, there will be a large scope in future. Why? Because the, there are customer queries are there. If they are uh, automatically resolved, it will uh, save a lot of resources and time as well, right? Artificial intelligence. If it uh, combines with RPA, it will be a massive. Uh, boom and explosion and very big change will be there 
because AI is very powerful tool and finally because of this um, huge power there comes a huge danger as well privacy and ethics will be uh, exposed okay so that's all what is there in the module frame make sure you like button and subscribe to my channel for more details like this and thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next one